New at 11, a family travels hundreds of miles so their two-year-old little girl can receive specialized care at Children's Hospital. Now, they're without a car. It goes further than just taking a car. Um, you know, it's affecting our children. We first brought you this story last night at 11. Someone stole the family's car from the Best Western Hotel in Covington. Police released this surveillance video of the two men who might be the suspects in this case. And tonight we're hearing from that family for the very first time. Nine on your side's Jake Ryle joins us now live with the interview you will see only on Nine on your side. Jake. Well, Craig, that Fernandez family traveled from just outside of St. Louis here to Cincinnati Children's Hospital for their two year old daughter's surgery. And then they were staying here at this hotel in Covington where they were staying. Their car was stolen in the middle of the night. Rayleigh is two, but going on three. She's a regular kid that likes to run around and play. And she's ready, along with her little sister, to tackle life's biggest obstacles. A great personality, um, just goofy, fun. She's just so easygoing, especially with everything that she has going on. Her smile evident. You know, from day one, she's been a fighter. Kristen Fernandez, Rayleigh's mom, says her daughter has achondroplasia, a form of dwarfism. And they went to Children's for an airway surgery on July 15th. The procedures <laughs> went good. Um, our hotel stay was a different story, though. The video from Covington police of two suspects Monday morning has this family in disbelief. It's hard to see somebody take a car that has handicapped plates, two car seats and a stroller in the back. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of crazy. Inside their white 2016 Nissan Pathfinder. The underneath, we specifically got this stroller because it has so much space for her suction machine, which is a life sustaining medical supply when your kid has a trach. This family hours away from home already and yet another obstacle. Your car is it's one thing, but when it comes to your kids, that's when it really affects you. Rayleigh not yet in school, already teaching this family a lesson, hoping for the best in this tough time. And the family has set up a Facebook fundraiser to help cover the cost for that stolen equipment that they need uh, so bad. And we've put the link up on WCPO.com as well as up on my Facebook page, Jake Ryle WCPO. For now, reporting live in Covington, Jake Ryle 9 on your side.